and bays, your covered slashes, covered in wilderness, and covered in stains. You cast aside the shield, cast aside the shroud of another man who served. Did you hear the one about the Ukrainian who died and went to heaven? No? <laughs> the joke goes like this. A woman from Mariupol, the Ukrainian city that has been devastated, somehow survived the devastation and became a refugee. But she died of a broken heart. She made it to heaven and she was so thrilled and surprised because there were no pearly gates. But it was better. It was a pub. <laughs> pub, that sounds like heaven. This pub was dark and cavernous, feeling womb-like, earthy. Ukrainian woman, she's so happy. She's relieved that her suffering is no more. 
she begins to wonder, where is God? The Ukrainian woman sits there for a while, wondering, where is God? Until she begins to realize that there's someone with her. She begins to detect, to detect, as our eyes sometimes do when we've been sitting in the darkness, she begins to see that there is someone sitting beside her. She sees an outline of face. This is a woman's face she begins to see. And not just any woman's face, Mary. The Divine Mother is Not just that, the longer she sits, the more she realizes this is the dark Madonna, the divine feminine, who is there waiting for her in the darkness. As just a, a short aside, just to pause here for a moment from this parable, the dark Madonna. Well, as you may know, there are Madonnas that have been drawn and etched in stone and icons through the ages and across cultures for 2,000 years, and most of them, Mary, the Madonna, is golden. She's full of light. Her glory is betrayed. But there are a few Madonnas, there are a few dark Madonnas that are scattered throughout the world. Over the past month, as many of you know, I went to Europe to see some Ukrainian friends who had fled to some neighboring countries and to spend time with them and to listen. And while I was there, I encountered at two different churches the dark Madonna. There's so much I could say and maybe should say, but that'll wait for another day. Stay tuned, maybe even a retreat. <laughs> so back to our joke, our parable. The Ukrainian woman who has died and has gone to heaven and is sitting with Mother Mary, the divine feminine, the dark Madonna, God. She's so full of peace. And God speaks, Priyet, Vitamavas, welcome, welcome. And she goes on to ask the Ukrainian woman, how did you do it? How did you... How did you survive? How did you not only survive, but you kept your faith and, and even had peace? And in the midst of it all, you sometimes even had joy. How did you do it? The dark Madonna asked. And the Ukrainian woman says, well, we told jokes. Some of my friends, we would, we would tell dad jokes. And sometimes we would tell jokes about our husbands and, to talk about our children, and that helped us in our darkest times. We would, we would laugh. And so God, the divine feminine, said, well, tell me one of those jokes. And she does. But no response. Not even a smile on God's face. And so the Ukrainian woman says, okay, let me tell you, this is the best joke. This is the one that used to make us always laugh, even in our darkest hours, even the women who were giving birth in subway stations. They laughed at this joke, and she told the joke to God. Nothing. Not a response. To which she said to God, but I guess she had to be there. After God catches her breath, she begins to weep. I choose to take a few deeper than normal for us.